I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to tell if an enzyme catalase reaction is taking place. All right, so let's take a look at our enzyme catalase. And enzymes, remember, are biological molecules that are within the body or cells, and their role is to basically let a chemical reaction happen. Um, and so basically, uh, catalase has one main reaction that it will help out. And in the body, it will turn H2O2 plus a big carbon group into water. And it will remove those hydrogens from uh, the carbon. And so when we write R, what we mean is basically a big conglomerate of carbons and hydrogens. And it's not really important that we know its exact structure. So in this, we're taking hydrogen peroxide and we're turning it into water. So this is what catalase does. It turns hydrogen peroxide into water, hydrogen peroxide into water. This is all it does over and over again, millions of times every second. So if we can sense that this reaction is happening, it means we have catalase because this is the enzyme that makes this happen. So uh, it's actually used to determine if uh, bacteria have this enzyme. And so it's a way that scientists use to distinguish certain types of bacteria. So the way that our catalase test takes place is actually on microscope slides. And so, of course, we can't see our bacteria, so there's nothing there. Uh, what you do is you take a drop of hydrogen peroxide and you let it, one drop only, uh, fall into your microscope slide. And so let's just say uh, that when you do this, this microscope slide stays exactly the same, and this one starts to foam and bubble and turn really messy. Well, this is a clear sign that this reaction is happening because chemical reactions often have things that are visible. And if this stays exactly the same, it means that there is no reaction happening. So it means that whatever bacteria you had on this slide did have catalase, and this did not. And this is the most common way that we test for this enzyme. I'm Robin Higgins, and this was how to tell if an enzyme-catalyzed reaction is happening.